2021 commencement ceremony. At this time, if you would please clear the aisles and take your seats, the ceremony is about to begin.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. You may be seated. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at Glenver High School, I am pleased to welcome you all to our 2021 commencement ceremony. We would like to thank the members of the Rona County School Board and members of our central office staff for joining us today. Seated with us this morning, please welcome our Catawba District School Board Representative, Mr. Donald Butzer. Our assistant principal, Mrs. Amy Duff. Our dean of students slash athletic director, Mr. Tyler Brown. Our counseling coordinator, Mrs. Gwen Knoll. And our Highlander of Honor for the 2021-22 school year, Ms. Carly Wilkes. Most especially welcome and congratulations to our graduates and their families. This is a wonderful time of celebration for everyone here today, but above all for you, our graduates. Through your talent, hard work, accomplishment, and determination, you've earned this day of recognition, reflection, and celebration. This is your day. This school year could be defined as a year of loss. We lost a good part of our school year together. We lost some traditions, missing out on homecoming events and our beloved groovy teens. We also lost two amazing members of our Glimver family and Mr. Richard McAwee and Mrs. Sheila Huffman. We miss them tremendously. Yet when there is such a loss, we should ask, what have we gained? We've gained appreciation for our friends and family, appreciation for our healthcare workers and for those on the front line, appreciation for our school community and the time we were able to be together, appreciation for toilet paper, and the knowledge that we should never take things for granted again. Today's ceremony is an event that evokes different feelings and emotions for you seniors. Excitement in the anticipation of beginning a new phase of life, sadness in leaving Highlander Heaven, a special place that's nurtured you for years, apprehension in wondering what lies ahead. For some, there will be regret of what could have been, and for others, joy and satisfaction for what's been achieved. Regardless of how you're feeling, you've been influenced by your time at Glenver High. The person you are today is the result of your interactions with the student and staff and experiences that you've shared. When a principal prepares a graduation speech, they're expected to impart some wise advice. I'm sure you expect me to talk about the importance of lifelong learning, hard work, and always doing your best but you don't need me to repeat what you've heard many times. Instead, I'm going to share some thoughts that I wish I'd heard when I was in your place. Don't underestimate kindness. It's a gift you can give to others that is totally free and brings great reward to both you, the recipient, and the giver. Number two, enjoy your time at home and spend time with your family. Believe it or not, you'll miss them, treasure it. Number three, get comfortable doing things by yourself. You're thinking, oh, that's an easy one, right? Well, wait until you have to book your own dentist appointment 
or go to the doctor by yourself for the very first time. Number four, save some money. Seniors, repeat after me. I will not spend every paycheck on Chick-fil-A, Ubers, and $10 t-shirts. <laughs> Good. Now that that's out of the way, remember it's all fun and games until someone invites you to go on a trip or you need to spare $100 for something unexpected. And then you're left having to say no to something awesome or having to beg your parents for money. Not cool. Number five. Most people are too worried about themselves to be worried about the mistakes you have made or the embarrassing situations you have been in. So don't dwell on them. Number six, don't be too proud to apologize. Number seven, hold no regrets. Living with regrets can taint your view of the future, keep you from growing and hurt you in the end. Try not to hold too many regrets from high school going forward in life. You're human. You make mistakes. Learn to forgive yourself and think of it as a learning experience. And finally, number eight, relax. You don't need your whole life planned ahead out now. A lot of new grads feel like they have to know and plan out the next few years of their life and on. You're young. Be flexible. Be present and enjoy. As you new graduates move on into the worlds of work, military service, or college, I would like to acknowledge and honor all of the teachers and parents who have played a large part in your growth. Seniors, please stand and give a round of applause to your teachers and parents who have loved, advised, pushed, and supported you during your high school years. You may be seated. We are all so proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We love you and are excited for all you will accomplish. Good morning, everyone. This is Cecilia Fraticelli coming to you live from Highlander Stadium in sunny Salem, Virginia, with live play-by-play -play of the Glenverse Seniors versus COVID-19. Last year, at this time, officials were not even sure the game would be played. It looked for a long time like the Glenver seniors would have to forfeit it all to COVID-19. However, due to the extraordinary efforts of our teachers and administrators, the Glenver seniors were able to make it onto the field of play. So let's play ball. COVID-19 wins the toss and elects to receive. The game begins with COVID-19 taking possession and putting the Glenver seniors immediately on the defensive. On the opening drive, COVID-19 scores the first touchdown with anxiety spreading about whether we might be able to go in person or need to attend fully virtual. COVID-19 kicks off. The Glenver seniors receive the ball and drive down the field. With some help from social distancing and rigorous sanitizing, the seniors break through COVID-19's defensive line and hold firm with a two-day in-person hybrid schedule. The seniors attempt a long pass in an effort to resume normal school activities, but oh no, COVID-19 intercepts the ball and returns it for another touchdown with the complete cancellation of sports, clubs, and marching band 
for the fall season. Things are looking bleak for the Glenver seniors. COVID-19's offense is fierce, and the Glenver seniors can barely keep up. COVID-19 scores another touchdown when several students and faculty members test positive for the virus. At the end of the first quarter, COVID-19 leads the Glenver seniors convincingly by a score of 21 to nothing. At the start of the second quarter, things are looking rough for the Glenver seniors. In late November, Glenver suffers the loss of athletic director Richard McElwee to cancer. While mourning the loss of a beloved member of our community, the seniors continue to fight on against COVID-19, motivated to stay strong despite the loss of their coach and mentor. Late in the second quarter, COVID-19 almost scores another touchdown as rumors swirl about Roanoke County moving to virtual learning after Christmas break through the remainder of the quarter. COVID-19 is advancing down the field, but the Glenver seniors increase their vigilance with strict safety measures. They mount a crucial goal line stand, avoiding going all virtual and continuing the two day hybrid schedule. And COVID-19 is denied another score. After a scoreless second quarter, COVID-19 goes to the half, leading the Glenver seniors 21 to nothing. The seniors are still hanging on, but they will need a strong second half to turn this game around. At the start of the third quarter, the Glenver seniors come out of the locker room ready to battle. Indoor track, basketball, and wrestling resume, and the Glenver seniors can feel momentum shifting in their direction. The seniors kick a quick field goal when both the Glenver indoor track team and swim team win state championships. The seniors have a long way to go, but they are starting to gain confidence when Roanoke County teachers are fully vaccinated in February. The seniors score another touchdown as football, cheerleading, volleyball, and pep band all return. And we are starting to see some worried faces on the COVID-19 sideline. The Glenver seniors have now put 10 points on the board and they are gaining confidence that they will be able to pull off the victory. Just when things are looking up, the Glenver seniors experience another setback when guidance secretary, Mrs. Sheila Huffman, dies in a tragic accident. Vowing to press on in her memory, the seniors regroup and mount another drive as spring sports and activities continue. As the third quarter winds down, the Glenver seniors drive down the field for another touchdown when students are allowed to return to the classroom four days a week. The Glenver seniors still trail, but they have victory in their sights. At the close of the third quarter, COVID-19 has 21 points, and the Glenver seniors are close on their heels with 17 points. Whoa, Nellie. The fourth quarter looks to be one to watch. At the start of the fourth quarter, it's still anyone's game. Early in the fourth quarter, the Glenver seniors kick another field goal as the Glenver football team pulls off a come-from-behind victory over Dan River in the playoffs, pulling the seniors within one point. COVID-19 is not ready to surrender and tries to score again by canceling prom. The Glenver seniors come up with a key sack when plans are announced for a different kind of senior celebration, affectionately known as the not prom. A fun and social night with friends once thought impossible due to COVID-19's dominance, is just what the seniors need to spur them on for one last drive. With only two minutes remaining and 80 yards between them and the end zone, the Glenver seniors mount one final drive. Every member of the team is giving their all. All sports have returned, 
Students are working hard on AP and final exams. The band and choirs are recording concerts, and it almost feels like a normal school year. With seconds left on the clock, the seniors push across the goal line for one last touchdown to take the lead. The whistle blows, and that's it, folks. The Glenver seniors have pulled off an improbable victory over COVID-19 by a final score of 27 to 21. The Glenver seniors have defeated COVID-19 with an amazing comeback. Some of our team members attended in person and others attended virtually, but the team stayed together and fought hard to make it to graduation despite all odds. It has been an honor to be on your team for these last four years. Now it is time for us to move on to other teams and the lessons we have learned from this Glenver team, particularly in overcoming the challenging battle versus COVID-19 will only make us stronger going forward. Whether your next team is in the military or in college, I wish you the best. This is Cecilia Fraticelli signing off from Highlander Stadium. Back to you, Dr. Franklin.
Hello, families, friends, and fellow graduates. I promise to keep it short because I'm sure you're all as hot and sweaty as I am. When I began thinking of what to write for a graduation speech, I came across a poem written by Stephen King that encapsulates everything I want to say. I know, a poem, classic graduation. But this one hit home for me, and I thought you all would connect with it too. This poem is called we did not ask for this room. We did not ask for this room or this music. We were invited in. Therefore, because the dark surrounds us, let us turn our faces toward the light. Let us endure hardship to be grateful for plenty. We have been given pain to be astounded by joy. We have been given life to deny death. We did not ask for this room or this music, but because we are here, let us dance. This poem sums up my feelings surrounding senior year better than I could. We may not have asked for online learning, but we chose to make the most of it. We did not ask to be in the room without sports last year, 
without Friday night lights and school spirit. We most definitely did not ask for the pandemic, but spending time without normal schedules of school, sports, and time with friends only made us appreciate those things even more when we returned. Our memories have been brightened because we know just how good we had it in years past. We have learned to savor every moment of high school because you just don't know when it's going to be taken away. We did not ask for the challenges we faced this year, but we found the strength within ourselves to keep pushing forward. We may not have asked for this room, but we have owned it. We have kept pushing each other, working harder, running faster, and raising each other higher until we all reach this moment. That's what Glenver students do, and we will always continue to turn toward the light in times of darkness. I am forever grateful to this community for their love and support. I'm so proud of all of us today. We have earned our places here on this field. Now let's own this room and dance in our successes. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I wanted to start out by saying thank you to all the teachers and coaches for your years of sacrifice leading up to this moment. Uh, without you, we would not be where we are today. 
Furthermore, I wanted to thank Dr. Franklin and the administrators at Glenver for their exceptional leadership during this year of uncertainty. Despite this unexpected nature of the past year, I'm sure I'm not alone when I, I say that I did not expect graduation to come this soon for our senior class. It seems just like yesterday, we were ninth graders beginning our new journey through high school four, young, four long years ago before we could finally receive our diploma. Many times we have dreaded the thought of, how just, of just how long it would take for us to make it to this point. Four more years of high school left, how are we supposed to survive that? However, in the blink of an eye, this day has come and we are more than joyful for those times we have shared together. As the years have gone by, the feeling of community and family I've experienced with my peers is unlike anything else in this world. To many that see this place, it may seem like just another school on the surface, that is just another building of individual high schoolers who make up a variety of classes and sports teams. However, I'm speaking from experience when I say it is more than a group of individuals and classes, for we are bound together by friendship and community. It is more than a group of individuals on sports teams because we are connected by tradition and fellowship. It is this sense of belonging and not just the mountains that, surrounding, uh, that surround us that make up this beautiful area. These feelings of support and family have carried us as a class through the best and the worst times. Through the uncertainty of the past school year, our ability to return to the school has acted as a beacon of hope in the darkness. Though many things have changed, our resiliency as a class has always been rooted in a sense of togetherness Highlander Heaven has provided. However, it is undeniable now, we have made it. It was a long journey with many ups and downs, but we have made it. On every good journey, there is a destination. In the case of our journey through high school, our destination has always been to sit on this field one hot morning in May, wearing a cap and gown to receive a diploma. No matter how far away this moment may have seemed, we all knew that this is right where we wanted to be. I used to think that the ultimate source of joy in my life would be the accomplishments and honors I would receive in high school and beyond. While playing sports and in the classroom, I believed I would be fulfilled when I obtained a starting position or when I made a good grade on a test. However, in place of this idea, I discovered an even greater joy that comes from being part of something bigger than myself. In the past year, I learned that my true source of joy comes from being with people I love and being at a school I cherish every day. So, although the ceremony has always been the end goal for our senior class, I can confidently say that my time here at Glenver has not been defined by the end result of receiving a diploma or any other reward alone. Rather, it has been defined by all the ups and downs on the journey. It was the good and the bad, the mountains and the valleys that make this an experience I will cherish forever. And I'm sure all of my classmates would agree with me on this point. Our time here has been defined by those areas in between. It seems as though life after an experience like high school is always characterized by the big moments, receiving a degree, receiving the next big promotion at work, getting married, and even retiring. These are all moments people look forward to in life. However, what if we lived out our journeys from here like we have lived the past four years? What if, instead of living from moment to moment, we cherish those times in between that bring us relationships and joy most of all. If we live out those in-between moments to the fullest, I'm confident that lifelong relationships will be established. The greatest memories will be made and character will be built up in our lives and the lives we impact. I'm sure of this because all of the lifelong friends and great memories I've made here at Glimber. So to my fellow graduates, I encourage all of you to go out from this point intent on not only in the end result of your labors, but in every moment in between. Learn to enjoy the simple things because as we are all realizing in this moment, the simple things are fleeting. Many times we have looked ahead only to miss what is right in front of us. But right now, there has never been a better time to look at what we have right here. In front of us today is the fulfillment of knowing we have accomplished great things as a class. One of the greatest sources of joy in the world comes from being a part of a class this closely knit. So, in the words of Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So let's stop every once in a while to smell the roses or admire a sunset or two. While we are pursuing our dreams of fulfilling our biggest moments, let's seek out ways to pursue relationships and find areas of fellowship bigger than ourselves. In the moment, these relationships may seem like small things. However, those connections will soon become the biggest treasures in the world. Thank you so much and congratulations to us, the class of 2021.
Good morning. Please join us now in honoring our graduates as we present their diplomas. Would the valedictorians please rise and come forward. Emma Grace Adams, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Grant Allen Alderson, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Kendall Lee Bertelbo, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Caroline Grace Craig, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Reese Anna Duncanberger, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Bristol Nicole Embry, Valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors from Glenver High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology in absentia. Cecilia Joan Fraticelli, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Emily Renee Harrell, Valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors in absentia. Kate Noel Harvey, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Caroline Elizabeth Harrell, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. <clears throat> Prachi Prakash Jarawala, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. <laughs> Richard Charles Jenkins III, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Mark Ryan Linkus, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Rebecca Elaine Linkus, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Yay! Bryant Hunter Loftus, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Matthew Frederick Louvet, Jr., valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Madison Shea Martinez, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Sarah Elizabeth McElwain, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Megan Elizabeth Painter, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Andrew Craig Patzel, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. 
Rhea Amit Patel, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Tiana Imani Peaks, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. McKenna Elizabeth Shear, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. <laughs> Rachel Annalise Smith, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Gabriella Francesca Marie Stanley, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Lydia Delaney Taylor, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. <laughs> Daly G. Umbarger, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. <laughs> Allison Nicole Wayne, valedictorian, ranking first, graduating with honors. Cameron Wayne Akers. Sarah Elizabeth Bartholomew, graduating with honors from Glenver High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Morgan Rihanna Lee Beatty, graduating with honors. High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Dakota Hayden Boyd. Bryson Cole Bratton. Jesse Tyler Brown, graduating with honors. Haley Renee Bryant, graduating with honors from Glenver High School, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Ryan Marshall Butler, graduating with honors. Jacoby Matthew Cantrell. <laughs> Courtney Jessica Carpenter, graduating with honors. Adam Casey Chocolate, graduating with honors. Tyler James Christensen, graduating with honors. Yeah. Hey, Haley Abigail Church, graduating with honors. Kaylee Nicole Cochran, graduating with honors. Keith O'Neill Couch. <laughs> D 
Devin Austin Crisco, graduating with honors from Glenver High School, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Jacob David Scott Crowder, graduating with honors. Michael Blake Custer. Lilybeth Mackenzie Dawson, graduating with honors from Glenver High School, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. <clears throat> Sabrina Jade Deaton, graduating with honors. Colvin Wallace Delano. Caitlin Ella Delano. Jalen Renee Delby, graduating with honors. Sean Tyler Dixon. <laughs> Malaysia Imari Donaldson, certified graduate from Glenver High School. Sydney Marie Doss, graduating with honors from Glenver High School, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Joseph Daniel Duncan, graduating with honors. <laughs> Daniel Clay Eakin, graduating with honors from Glenver High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Ernst, graduating with honors. Autumn Marie Fagg, graduating with honors. Daniel Cody Francisco, graduating with honors. Kendra Leanne Frederick, graduating with honors. Mackenzie Irene Gillespie, graduating with honors. <clears throat> Madeline Grace Givens, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Marissa Ann Graham, graduating with honors. Evan Rayner Grant, graduating with honors. Blaine Eric Grice, graduating with honors. Derek Austin Hall, graduating with honors from Glenver High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Woo! Hey, Derek. Hey. Joseph Richard Hall, graduating with honors. Matthew Ray Conrad Harris Jr., graduating with honors.
Olivia Gail Harris, graduating with honors. Hunter Michael Hartz, graduating with honors. Haley Nicole Hatcher, in absentia. Kaylee Ann Henderson, graduating with honors. Alyssa Nicole Honaker, graduating with honors. Anna Marie Hausman. Joshua Timothy Howard, graduating with honors. Jackson Lucas Hunter, graduating with honors. Jenna Lauren Hux, graduating with honors. Elizabeth Claire Jarvis. Deshaun Jameer Johnson. Grayson McKenzie Jones. Graduating with honors from Glimmer High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Ethan William Justice, graduating with honors. Nathan Andrew Harris Kessner, graduating with honors in absentia. David Allen Cranhagen, graduating with honors. <laughs> Mallory Grace LaPrad, graduating with honors. <laughs> Kristen Emily Lawhorn. Graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. <laughs> Jaden Gabrielle Lag, graduating with honors. Cheyenne Colleen Londrigan. Ali Desiree Lowey, graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Claire Campbell Lucas, graduating with honors. Avery Ann Looper, graduating with honors. Vinny Mai, graduating with honors. Ryan Patrick Mange. Oh, 
Skyler Scott Martin. Ariel Elizabeth Macellas, graduating with honors. Alexandria Alexis Matheny, graduating with honors. Evan Monroe Mays, graduating with honors. <laughs> Ashley Marie Maynard, graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. <laughs> Jacob Thomas Mays, graduating with honors. Jacob Dalton Miller, graduating with honors. Gage William Mills. <laughs> Natasha Renee Miranda Angeles, graduating with honors. Zachary James Moore, graduating with honors. <laughs> Abram Lee Morris. Amber Lee Jane Moyer, graduating with honors. Abigail Mackenzie Nolan. Sydney Madeline Ogle, graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Abigail Porter Omberg, graduating with honors. Carson Wayne Osborne, graduating with honors. Michael Haluk Ospalot, graduating with honors. Ileana May Odwin Pack, graduating with honors. Colton Lee Purdue. Ryan Tan Pham. Isabel Taylor Pope, graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School and the Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Elise Margot Premassing, graduating with honors. Ella Kate Pratt, graduating with honors. K. 
Caitlin Neve Presley, graduating with honors in absentia. Rebecca Rose Price, graduating with honors from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Madeline Ray Pruitt, graduating with honors. Gavin Renee Quigg, graduating with honors. Courtney Nicole Raines, graduating with honors. Blake Michael Ramsey, graduating with honors. Braden Cage Rollins. Kayton Lura Richardson, graduating with honors. Nathan Price Richardson, graduating with honors. Zyra Rios Vasquez. Brady Alexander Robertson, graduating with honors. Isaiah Allen Robinson, in absentia. Desiree Nicole Roop. Logan Trail Roar, graduating with honors. <laughs> Taylor Michelle Schoonover, graduating with honors. <laughs> Seraphim Bell C, graduating with honors in absentia. Jebediah Spencer Seacrest, graduating with honors. Cameron Abigail Schaefer, graduating with honors. Landon Christopher Shell. Nicholas Neil Shell. Caitlin Michelle Sladen, graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Dylan Patrick Smith, graduating with honors. <laughs> Hannah Lindsay Spate. <laughs> Hannah Lauren Stacy, graduating with honors from Glenbrook High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Olivia Marie Stewart. John William Strassball III. Sarah Elizabeth Stoltz, graduating with honors.
Colton Wade Tiford in absentia. Logan Tyler Woodson Tony, graduating with honors from Glenville High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Ava May Trail, graduating with honors. Destiny Lynn Underwood, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Dominic James Vass, graduating with honors. <laughs> Haley Nicole Walters. Charles Preston Waybright, graduating with honors. Tyler Gavin Webb, graduating with honors. Cameron Edward Wiley, graduating with honors. Justice Dawn Wilfong, graduating with honors from Glenville High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology, certified graduate from Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Grace Ann Willis, graduating with honors. Tyler Nicholas Willis Buchanan, Graduating with honors. Antonia Rose Woodson, graduating with honors. Madison Lee Woolwine, graduating with honors. Brandon Lee Wright, graduating with honors from Glenville High School and Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Dr. Franklin, it is my honor to present to you the Glenver High School Class of 2021. Ready? What are we doing? I gotta read the bottom. Oh. <laughs> At this time, Will all Glenver High School alumni please stand? In the stands, alumni. <laughs> now, will the class of 2021 please join your fellow alumni in standing? And now, by the authority granted me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Roanoke County Public Schools, I affirm that you are graduates of the 48th Glenver High School graduating class with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities therein bestowed. Congratulations. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left and remain standing. I'll make sure I'm doing it. It's alma mater, right? Yeah. 
Would everyone please rise and join all of us in the singing of our alma mater. Hans over there. Hans over there. Let's sing. Come on. Come on.